While every man, woman, and small child has been raving about Devilman Crybaby and quite possibly how it's the best anime of 2018, I wanted to take a look at something a bit different, but somehow oddly familiar. Back in 1995, wait, holy shit, that was 23 years ago! The era of mecha anime was afoot, and in that year, one mecha anime surfaced to challenge the idea that mecha anime could have deeper philosophical meanings. Neon Genesis Evangelion emerged as a sci-fi, symbolic, yet bleak, satirical, coming-of-age parable. It was a show that put the social anxieties of its main character at its core, leading all of its fans, to this day, whenever any sort of Evangelion topic is brought up, to unanimously say, Yo, Shinji, get in the robot. But I'm getting ahead of myself. If you haven't heard of Neon Genesis Evangelion, you're probably really young, and if you haven't watched it yet, it's kind of difficult to put a spoiler warning on this show considering you've had 23 years and counting. However, before we get into the similarities these shows have, here's a justifiable spoiler warning for Darling in the Franks. Also, hold on a sec, I, I, I need to make a phone call real quick. Hey, Madame Manimus, how's that video we both worked on together going? Who is this? Who gave you this number? Yo, this is Evanito, man. I don't know anyone by that name. Wait, no, please don't hang up. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> now that my rudimentary introduction to this video is out of the way, let's take a deep dive into Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now, Evangelion is set in a post-apocalyptic planet Earth that is apparently used to world-shattering creatures trying to obliterate the planet every other day. Our protagonist for this show is Shinji Ikari. Shinji lost his mother when he was younger and has survived in this harsh world with his father, Gendo Ikari. Although, saying with is being overly generous here. You see, Shinji's father is Commander of Nerve, the organization that has been keeping Earth safe since humanity was nearly destroyed prior. Because of this huge responsibility, you'd imagine he'd never be around for his son. But I surmise a different theory as to why Gendo is never around. Honestly, if your son was the epitome of disappointment, you'd never want to be around too. Or at least I wouldn't. Now, I did say this was a mecha anime, so let's talk about the mech. Avas, as they're called in the show, are humanity's last hope for survival. They possess incredible strength and move more like humans than machines. There is, however, a downside to the machines, and is that they can only be piloted by children. In retrospect though, if you asked me to climb into one of these things to fight whatever the fuck this is, shit, I'd be just like Shinji. But what does any of this have to do with Darling in the Franks? Well, if you've gotten this far into the video, consider hitting that subscribe button and then I'll tell you why. D did you hit it? I knew I could count on you! Anyhow, Darling in the Franks is a show that came out this year that seems to be hitting quite a few of the thematic points that Neon Genesis Evangelion hit back in its day. Now, I'm not entirely sure what planet this show is even based on, but it's definitely post-apocalyptic in nature, with humanity living in small sediments called plantations. Humanity is forced to protect themselves from... mechanized... demon dogs? And to protect themselves, much like in Evangelion, they use mechs that are more humanoid than ever. These mechs or Franks, as they're called, also possess incredible capabilities, but unfortunately, also seem to require children's pilot. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned so far is that for the children in Evangelion to pilot the Eva units, they have to synchronize with them. In Darling and the Franks, the Franks are piloted in pairs and require synchronization between partners to be functional. Although in this case, I could definitely get behind the controls of one of these mechs, if you know what I'm saying. You'd honestly have to be a fool not to want to pilot one of these things. Thankfully, the protagonist of this show actually wants to pilot a Franks. Franks? The fuck? How do you say this shit in plural form? And now you're probably saying, Well, that makes him different from Shinji, and that's not similar in any way. And I'd have to stop you right there, because Shinji may not want to pilot an Ava, but he does want to feel useful and wanted by everyone. The same goes for Hiro. Considering everything I've said so far is very far-fetched and maybe too obvious, there's also the undertone of both shows using religion at their cores. Glory, 
And that's it for similarities. Considering there are only three episodes of the show so far at the time of this recording, I can only go so far with this topic. But hey, if you reached the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, maybe consider doing so. Also, I, I swear to you guys, I really do know Manime Matt. We totally did a video together, and with any luck, it's out in this channel right now. That's just gonna have to serve as my proof. If you haven't subscribed to him, a link will be in the description below. And if you're subscribing to me because of Matt, let me know in the comments below. And finally, adios, weeb taku. Joyful, joyful love.